long time no see welcome back i am missy Moore. welcome once again to my channel this channel is about vlogs mom lines your life because i am a teacher but i recently had to go on maternity leave early because i was getting a pinched nerve or whatever case may be so even though it's the first week of school i only attended the first day anywho this video is going to be about what's in Christian Amir's diaper bag. Also, while laboring, because I am having contractions. <laughs> so today may be the day that he comes. I am holding out until my doctor's appointment, which is in about an hour and a half. So I'm holding out. I've been having contractions since 2 a.m. My app has told me to get ready, go to the hospital, um, my pain tolerance is very high, so I'm kind of like, I don't know if I should go or not, but my water's not broken, so, you know, I can kind of, I can do that <laughs> and labor at home, so that is what I'm doing, but contractions are coming, and that'll be fun. I'll let you guys know when I get in contraction while I'm going through this video, okay? So yes, and hopefully I can get up. I don't know who told me to come sit on the floor. But anywho, let's get into it. So, oh, I pulled the thing off. I really want to tell y'all the full name. But the full name of this diaper bag will be in the description box or like in the title. So let's get this. What's in my diaper vlog? Diaper vlog. Y'all, I'm not editing it either, okay? I'm tired. What's in my diaper bag while laboring, okay? I'm a labor and I'm doing a Dr. Bad video. Here we go. So this is a Fisher Price um, diaper bag. It is like a jean material. It's blue. I like it or it has grown on me thus far. Okay, so um, put I got this from Target. So you guys may see this on the shelf in Target right now because every Target I go into, I see it on the shelf. Um, when I seen it on the shelf, I think it kind of passed by and just scanned it and online it appears smaller you guys so beware this is this feels kind of big okay but it might not be so big because this is the stuff I'm taking to the hospital so maybe when it's just like a normal day it's not that big but it feels kind of big but it is like a backpack anywho so if you don't want nothing that's bulky or big then I wouldn't say to get it but if you don't mind backpack type feels then you're good to go all right, so let's get into what's in this diaper bag, okay? Um, I have the Munchkin little diaper bags connected to his diaper bag. So just in case we're out anywhere, I could just put the diaper in these little bags. I swear by them. I had them with both my sons. All right, so let's get into this front pocket. This one I'm going to show you that I have in the front pocket. Y'all, I do not remember even what I put in here because I packed this like a while ago. So let's get into it. I have alcohol free foaming hand sanitizer. So don't mind my nails. I took my nails off. So that is for um people coming into the hospital or if they didn't sanitize, they can sanitize their hands, including me, so that'll stay in the diaper bag. I have some mittens for him in that front pocket. And I also have natural cleaning with baking soda, um, pacifier wipes. I don't believe in pacifiers, so it's funny. I don't give my kids pacifiers, but um, the one that I kind of gave them for like the first two weeks of life and I really didn't give it to them, it was more so a soother in a car, is the one that the green, I'll show you guys, I think it's in the bag. But I barely even used it with my kids, but I still just made sure I had it because you don't really know how your baby's going to be. They may be a baby that like to be soothed like that with their mouth. So I have the green pacifier I'll show you guys in a minute. But I don't use pacifiers as in to like just put in the baby mouth to keep them quiet. And da, da, da. It's really, if you're in a car and I'm driving, I'm the only one in the car that can soothe him. I don't like use that green one to put in my finger and like rub around his mouth. Something to just calm him. So that's kind of how I use it. I don't use the pacifier as a everyday thing. Because I didn't get one when I was a kid. My boys didn't get one and need one. So yeah. 
the baby cry. I just believe something wrong with them or they want something. And you know, that way. That's just my belief. All right, going into, so this is a front pocket. All right, as you also can see, this bag has a side pocket. Um, I don't believe I have anything in here, but it shows a little bottle on the side and I am going to pack his Tommy Tippy bottle, one of the smaller ones, just in case something at the hospital not going right or I'm not producing no milk. I know they give you those little two ounces bottles of milk or whatever, but instead of him drinking out of that nipple, that silicone little yellow nipple, I'd rather him drink out of this one that's similar to my nipple. I do plan on exclusively um, pumping, but I am going to breastfeed for like the first week. So yeah, I need him to get used to something big like this and, or his bottle that he will mainly be getting fed out of. So I will pour that milk in here if he does need to take milk at the hospital or something like that. So I'll go ahead and put that bottle where it's supposed to be for him. And I'm having a contraction. Ooh, I feel it, y'all. In my bum bum. <laughs> Oh yeah, give me a second. This one is a good, this is a good one. Whew. It's a good one right here, y'all. It's a good one. Okay. Here we go. Oh, here we go. All right. It's almost gone, y'all. I'm gonna let it fizzle away while we move on, okay? So, this is how the inside of the bag looks. Nice little striped design. Those colors are about like baby bluish, looking grayish, you know? All right, so this is how the inside of the bag looks. Let's get into it. All right, so I brought this blanket. This also matches what he's gonna be sleeping in in my room, but it's a nice, soft, plush blanket with a little head thing just in case he's small i'm gonna put it around his like head in his um car seat and then it's a nice little blanket a reversible blanket for him in the hospital so i have that i also have for visitor sake wise i have um a breastfeeding shoe so i'll put it around my neck if people are coming in friends and stuff anybody visiting and i'm and i have to feed him around my neck and I'm going to feed him with this so I have this in here so I won't have to try to like have him under the cover or whatever y'all know what's up not too much stuff in here I picked up this um from the store I meant to take it out but I don't have a container to put it in yet so I didn't want like the brush to get all bent up so I left it in here it's just the comb and the brush for him as you can see and that'll be something that probably stays in his diaper bag Alright, a little toy for the um, car seat. So I'll attach that to it when we're going to leave. Okay, here's the cute part. The Oh, let me show you the fast seat. So we got the elephant thing. So this is the one I'm talking about. So this little uh, soothie, that's what they call it, a soothie. Basically what I use it for is just to soothe them in a car. If he's crying and stuff, and then he don't get it after that. So this is, this basically used to be like our little car soother. And if that, because you know, the motion in the car made them feel all uh, calm. And you know, most of the time, newborns sleep or babies kind of sleep and chill. So yeah, barely used it. We probably just lost, it. we lost them by like the second weekend. That was that. So I don't really use pacifiers. But I got that cleaning thing because it's like, they sell these in the store, y'all. But where is the case for it so i feel like it's germy so i'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off every time before i give it to baby so that's why i got the little pacifier clean thing and i could clean other stuff with that so yeah that's his little passy um and where i'm pulling that stuff out is in this diaper bag it has a little pocket right here where you can put some stuff in okay so i'm pulling out of this pocket um i also have some Aveeno Baby Daily Moisturizer Lotion in that pocket. I have ripe water in the pocket. 
just in case you're gassy. And I have a Cloud Island Muslim blanket. It's so soft. So um, just something to swaddle him in. And then I also have a burp cloth. I believe I'm gonna go ahead and put one more burp, burp cloth in in here for the hospital. But I have I just put one burp cloth. And I swear by these, I use them like all the time. And I also do use these um, little blankets, especially if people are trying to hold a baby. I'll put it over their clothes. If they, you know, weren't in my house and stuff like that, put over their clothes, y'all. Protect our babies and the germs, okay? All right. So there's nothing else in that pocket. So then inside the main part of the book bag, I have his clothes which makes me so excited because his clothes is my, his newborn clothes was my six year old and four year old newborn clothes that I kept, the ones that I love and I'm gonna get put in the quilt. So I'm bringing this newborn outfit. If he's this small, he'll have this outfit to go together. He'll also have um, Cameron's newborn go home outfit. It's just some um, pants like this. And this was from my four-year-old. He wore this in the hospital as well, so I have pictures with him in it. And it comes with a little jacket. It is hot, but you know, baby temperature is just different than ours. Okay. And then I have a long sleeve shirt that Caleb and Cameron wore in the hospital when they were babies, so I brought that to snap a few pictures too of him wearing his brother and newborn. So all these are what I've been holding on to for like six and four years now. Then I have just a, another onesie that I just recently bought, a Gerber long sleeve onesie for him to chill in just in case you mess up his clothes or whatever. And I have two sleepers, so one pajama set for him. And he can come go home. I don't really, I'm not big on going home with something specific. So probably one of the newborn outfits, Caleb or Cameron's, that they wore as a baby, he can come home in. It's for him to go to sleep in. And then I have like a little dress with a little uh, bottom opening so I could change, you know, that tar diaper in the middle of the night that they be doing for like the first two, three days at Black Doodle. -doo. <laughs> I have this. So I don't have to wake him up just in case he do do that little sticky poop that they do. So that is all that I brought for clothes. Nope, I'm not overpacking. This is just what I'm doing. He might not even get through all of this. And this is not a lot compared to what I see people bring. Okay, I'll show you the empty bag inside. All right. Okay, give me a moment. Let me just clean this stuff back in here. See, so y'all see my contract I have not gotten another contraction and it's probably been about a couple of two ten five six minutes so yeah you see how they're uh, working to be honest sitting down here <coughs> they kind of slowed down since I got on camera <coughs> oh yeah now moving on to the back of this backpack it also has another zipper part and it's they say like for your laptop or any tablet so I'll show you that it unzips and it opens up to this this is a changing pad that I meant to take out because I'm not going to carry that around <coughs> um, this is for your laptop part this is also like I have a book bag that has this little strap so you can slide any of your tablets, your laptops in there. So it's a very pretty useful bag. And that is all the space you need back here. I just did not feel it. The only thing I did put back here was this. And when he comes, I will fill this out. I believe this is from Target. It says, welcome baby. I write his name. I was born. I write the time. I weighed, I measured, and then it says we can't wait to watch you grow. So I'm going to write on this in the hospital when he comes and I get all this information. Um, and then I will, you know, like how people do in a little bassinet, they have snap pictures of him, you know, sleep or in front of this. So 
So that's what I'm going to do with this. Alrighty. And you guys, uh, that wraps up. I'm getting a contraction now too. By the way, <coughs> that wraps up my what's in my diaper bag for the hospital while laboring. Okay, and then um, it does have a little pocket. I took out the little plastic container that uh, it had right there and just put, I'll just put these type of wipes. I'll just slide them in there like that. You know, whether it's Huggies or Pampers, they all have wipes that come with like this little open and closed case thing. And that's what I'll put there instead of the plastic that came with the bag. And that is that. This is my diaper bag, y'all. It's like the book bag. Uh, let me get up <laughs> excuse the sound effects it's stuff going on down there I'm telling y'all let me get up and show y'all my baby bump alright oh god Jesus. so here we go Christian and Miss I got on the sports bra so my boobs kind of sitting low but this is him and he's acting like he's ready to come today alright Thank you guys for watching and I will see you later and stay tuned for a labor vlog because I already started vlogging that, but you know, it's a process, okay? See y'all. Thank y'all for watching.